Hello, and welcome back. It's me, your ASMR friend. I hope you're having a great day. And please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy my walkthroughs of Night City. Today, I thought we would talk about something that's very useful when it comes to living in Night City, and that is, of course, cyberware. 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 It's as common as owning a smartphone. You know, it's become a daily part of our lives. So it's something to be mindful of. You want to be up to date. You want to make sure things are running well. And so I thought I would just take you, if you've never been or it's been a while, uh, just walk through the process of visiting your Ripper Dock. So here we are at the Medical Assistance Building. And uh, it's a lovely day in Night City, as you can see. Sun is shining, it's very nice. And uh, so obviously you'll come in and inside is the waiting room. Now here you'll check in, obviously, and they'll ask you for, you know, your personal data, first and last name, your citizen number, uh, you know, all your relative cyberware info, all of those little details that the doctor wants to know. And after you check in, you'll go in to the Ripper Doc's office, which might be a little bit scary to some people, seeing all that, but of course, it's not so scary. And we'll just check in with the Ripper Doc. And here we are. So. Cyberware. So I thought we might as well get started with the operating system. Now, the operating system I have installed is the Arasaka MK3, which has an 8 base RAM, 7 buffer size, and 5 slots for customization. It is a top tier cyber deck commonly used by netrunners specializing in infiltration and corporate espionage. You don't have to do infiltrating or espionage to take advantage of this operating system. I just want to say that. <laughs> this allows you to perform quick hacks on targets and devices while scanning. It decreases the RAM cost of covert quick hacks by one. Quick hacking an enemy affected by ping will reset the duration of ping. And it also increases combat quick hack duration by 30%. Now this one is very expensive. Arasaka is never cheap, but they are... There's a reason that they are so pricey. They are quality. So if you can afford the Eddies to purchase the Arasaka models, that's what you want to go for. But that said, for a long time, I was actually using the Militech Daraline. There's nothing wrong with it. Obviously, it's less RAM. It's got a two base RAM, four buffer size, and two slots for customization. Now, not the most powerful cyber deck on the market, but capable of performing multiple tasks, even if it does require a little patience. And it does require a little bit of patience. But it is a solid operating system, especially if you're just starting out, you just need a base to do stuff with. Now this allows you to perform quick hacks on targets and devices while scanning. So you can do a little bit of stuff. 
Now, some people might be into the MORTEC Berserk MK2. Now, Berserk significantly boosts your strength and resilience. It reduces weapon recoil by 10%, increases melee damage by 10%, and increases armor and resistance by 15%. Duration is 5 seconds. The cooldown is 15 seconds. And while Berserk is active, jumping from a high height initiates a superhero landing causing you to fall at high speed and land with enough force to create a shockwave that damages nearby enemies. Gain 10% more health when Berserk is active. It has no mod slots. Now, the improved Berserk model, manufactured by more technologies, now with upgraded hormone-regulating algorithms. So obviously, this isn't for everyone. And you may be thinking, well, I don't engage in violence. I don't plan on hurting people. I am certainly in that boat as well. However, I am in Night City. You cannot avoid the crime. It's just a reality. It's a beautiful city full of wonderful people, wonderful people, and I strongly believe that there are more good people in this world than bad. But yes, living in Night City, you have to be mindful. So having these cyberware integrated into your system in case you need to, okay? So, no judgments for, for wanting to protect yourself. So, those are some models. Now, here's one that's kind of a middle-of-the-road one. And that's the Sochoi Electronics MK1. And it's only about 7,500 eddies. It gives you a 4-base RAM, a 5-buffer side, and three slots for customization. Netwatch statistics show this is the most common deck for any kind of break-in. Why? Because it's cost-effective, user-friendly, and doesn't crap out when you need something done quickly and quietly. This will allow you to perform quick hacks on targets and devices while scanning, and decreases the RAM cost of covert quick hacks by one. So this is not a bad option if your budget is not up to what an Arasaka would be. Definitely a good one to have. So some options for you. Definitely check out, see what works best for you. Um, but yes, as I will always suggest, if you can afford it, or you want to save up, Arasaka is always going to be worth it. Quality, quality stuff. Now let's move on. So, next we got the skeleton, right? So what I have installed are bionic lungs. Efficient lungs engineered with both organic and artificial tissue fibers and this increases my stamina by 30 percent so i can run 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 i can run for a little bit longer so it's very nice to have next i have installed is titanium bones titanium bones i no longer need to drink milk for my strong they are metal-infused bones capable of withstanding heavy loads. And this increases carrying capacity by 60%. 60%. So it's very good if you want to carry more items with you. But there are a few other options that you may want to 
check out. One being the micro vibration generator. Now this will increase base damage of melee weapons by 5% causes melee weapons to vibrate at a frequency that causes more destruction. So, again, back to my, what I was saying. If you want to protect yourself, this is a good option to consider. Next, you might want to look at Dense Marrow. Now, this increases body weight and the power behind melee attacks. Now, it's going to increase stamina cost of melee attacks by 10%, but it'll increase the damage of melee weapons by 15%. So, you know, something to consider. And the last one uh, is the sim Synaptic Signal Optimizer. This enhances the body's natural resistance and performance. And this one increases your health by 50%. Increase health by 50%. Health, health, health. You can see why this one is important. A very good option. I almost went with it, but for me, I liked having the stamina, because I can go for longer distance with certain things, but definitely a great option. A bit spendy, it's going to run you 20,000 eddies if you want an epic version of it. Now, of course, as we all know, there are different tiers to these, they go common, uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary. As you can see, I can't even afford to get a legendary. So, don't feel bad if you can't get the top of the line. Really, as long as you're getting these things and they're benefiting you, that's important. As long as you're staying up to date and you're keeping well and you're keeping maintain of everything, you know, you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. So, moving on. Now, this next one, I know, is very controversial. I was very much against it at first. But as I said, Night City... You want to be prepared. So, for your arms, implants. What I have is the mantis blades. Now, I could have gone with gorilla arms, and I've done that in the past. Classic and reliable replacements for natural limbs, suited for all kind of hard labor. Gorilla arms charge with each attack. When you perform a strong attack, they deal bonus damage based on the charge level. Gorilla arms also allow you to force open locked doors and rip turrets from their bases. And gorilla arms deal physical damage. And you can see the statistics there, up above. And then um, another one that some people might enjoy is the mono wire. It's a whip-like filament, filament wire with a cutting edge, only a molecule wire. Now, this charges when equipped, but not used in combat. Attacks with a charged wire damage based on the charge level. Charge level and bonus damage dealt decline with each attack. Mono wire deals physical damage deals a high amount of concentrated damage and can instantly dismember any member, any enemy, with one quick attack. Next up would be the projectile launch system, basically wrist rockets. It 
It's a missile launcher in the palm of your hand. More or less literally. The projectile launcher allows you to unleash various powerful projectiles, dealing various types of damage, as well as causing explosions and applying status effects. But most importantly, it wreaks mayhem and destruction. Explodes on impact and deals major physical damage to enemies within the area of effect. Charged shots increase damage, the explosion radius, the chance to dismember. Effective against groups of enemies. Now, what I have and I hope to never use it. I just want that to be clear. I hope I never have to use it because I again believe that we are meant to do good things here on earth. But one must be prepared, right? So the mantis blades are arm blades designed with lethality and concealment in mind, as effective as they are flashy. Mantis blades allow you to slice and dice your enemies with swift and deadly slashes. They also unlock the ability to leap towards a target and deal massive damage. To do so, hold and release. Mantis blades deal physical damage due to the blade's inherently fast attack speed and combos, they can rapidly deal devastating damage, granting a higher chance to dismember the enemy. Very effective against the individual target. So that's your arms. All right. You know, you can debate that with yourself about what you want to do. Next, legs. And this one is so amazing so amazing it if i could only have one thing out of all of this cyberware stuff it is the ability to double jump as they say jump and then do a jump again in midair with reinforced tendons it's just as simple as that you can get up to places you wouldn't be able to possibly, humanly possible, without these. So, highly recommend, highly recommend. There is also the fortified ankles, which allow you to do a charged jump. Ankle joints reinforced with plastic fibers and some nangel filled joint capsules. Now that one's going to cost you a little bit. That's 45,000 eddies. And I think it was the same price for the reinforced tendons. But, as I said, so worth it. I don't know what I would do without it. And you'll see those in use um, in future videos. So let's move on. Next, we have the frontal cortex, okay? So the ones I have installed are the RAM upgrade. This will increase my CyberDeck RAM recovery rate by 0.1 unit per second. So it's an upgrade to your system's random access memory to support processing speed. Next, I have Heal to Kill, Heal on Kill. Instantly restores 3% health after defeating an enemy. A combat implant regulates hormones and regenerates health after an enemy is defeated. Next is the Mechatronic Core, and that increases damage to drones, mechs, and robots by 20%. Provides information about the weak points of mass-produced and some lesser-known machines. 
But other options to look at would be visual cortex support, a brain mod that improves perception and targeting. And this will increase critical damage by 10%. Another one you may like is memory boost. It's a model that optimizes the sync between brain and cyberware. Defeating an enemy instantly recovers one cyberdeck RAM unit. Next, that's what I already have, so maybe this one. Okay, the X disk. It's an implant that increases the brain's capacity to store and process information. So it increases your Cyberdex max RAM units by one. So that might be one you want to check out. And that's for frontal cortex. Next would be your Occupatory system. I have the Kiroshi Optics MK2. It's an upgraded model manufactured with high-end components and accelerated scanning algorithms it guarantees users 100% satisfaction. This enhances your vision. It is absolutely imperative. It's amazing. I love it. So yes, they're right. 100% satisfied. Um, basically, you just have whatever your budget maybe or your ripper docs availability they all do about the same one they'll increase your vision very good one to look at next is your circulatory system now the ones i have installed are the bioplastic blood vessels it facilitates the body's distribution of blood and blood-borne substances this increases my health regen outside of combat by two points per second. Next up I have is the Adrenaline Booster. Helps the body maintain performance when under great strain. And this instantly restores 10% stamina when you defeat an enemy. And then thirdly, installed I have the Bio Monitor an implant designed to coordinate regenerative processes. And this instantly restores 30% health when health drops to 15%, with a cooldown of 240 seconds. So, ones to consider would be a blood pump, and this accelerates oxygen supply to the body's cell. Activate to instantly restore 60% of max health. Cooldown is 180 seconds. And you can assign cyberware to the quick slot and activate it from there. Another one to consider would be the micro generator. It's a small high voltage generator that packs a shocking punch. When your health drops to 15%, release an electroshock that deals damage equal to 40% of the target's enemy, target enemy's max health. So effective if you get into a sticky situation. There's also the bioconductor, facilitates superconductive in the circulatory that connects the body's cyberware. Reduces all cyberware cooldowns by 10%. So, a pretty good one to have if you want your items to cool down a bit faster. There is also Sin Lungs, synthetic tissues designed to increase functional lung tissue surface area. And that increases stamina, regen, by 10%. Have the blood pump. Yeah. So yeah, those are options to look at. 
that's for the circulatory system. Moving on to the immune system. Now there's, this ripper does not have any further ones to install, so I'll just talk about the ones that I have installed. And that is the Cataresist, a hybrid cyberware that protect, protects the body from the inside and out. It increases all resistances by 8%. And shock and awe, an effective self-defense tool engineered in Shanghai. After taking damage, there's a 2% chance of releasing a large electroshock that deals damage to nearby enemies. So it's a good one to have, again, for those kind of sticky situations. Next up, we have the nervous system. Now, the Karinzikov. Karinzikov. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, or at least fairly accurate. Sorry if I am not. This allows you to aim and shoot while dodging. It slows down time by 60% for 1.2 1.8 seconds when blocking, aiming, or attacking during a slide or dodge. It has a cooldown of 5 seconds. I also have installed the Synaptic Accelerator. This is a neural processor that regulates hormonal balance between threatening situ during threatening situations. So this will actually slow down time by 30% for two seconds when you are detected by enemies with a cooldown of 60 seconds. So let's see. You could also look at a nano relay. And this improves the speed of nerve impulses. It increases sandifigious <laughs> sandification and Krasnikov duration by 0.5%. My goodness, I butchered all of that. So let's just move on. You could do that if you want. <laughs> More options. Neofiber, neofiber, synthetic muscle fibers. And this will increase evasion by 5%. Oh, this one looks good. Reflex tuner. It's a coprocessor that supports decision-making processes in emergency situations. This will slow down time by 60% for two and a half seconds when your health drops to 25%. And a 60 second cooldown. So, I hope I don't have to pronounce any other crazy words. <laughs> That's it for the nervous system. Wow, okay. In in documentary system. Oh man. Really finding out my uh my skill set here. This reinforces bands between the skin cells, making them extremely hard to penetrate. So this supra dermal weave grants immunity to bleeding. <laughs> Can you tell that I'm trying to pronounce these well? Oh, man. Subdermal armor. There we go. I can pronounce that. A major hit on the armor market for decades. And this increases armor by 90%. So... That's it for cyberware. Again, this comes down to your taste, your style, what you're looking to, f you know, what you're looking for to upgrade, to improve. Um, as I said, the legs, the ability to double jump, absolutely amazing. Um, and obviously, you want to have a good vision. Again, you know, all of these are, they 
are there to help you. It improves your life. Um, and again, when it comes to the operating system, if you can afford Arasaka, I highly recommend that. They are superb, superb, superb. Um, yeah, so thank you for staying with me, going through this, listen to me butcher some words. Um, but I hope that this has been helpful or just a good way to be introduced to the cyberware. Perhaps you are on the fence about whether to do it or not, but most of you probably already have it because, as I said, it's as common as owning a phone nowadays and just as important. You need them. Not all of these things, you know. And I know, again, the Mantis Blade Arms, very controversial. Like I said, you have to protect yourself. It's a harsh world, so however you do it, however you decide to take care of yourself, go for it. Do it, because you're important, and your health is important. So there's nothing wrong with taking action to protect yourself. So, that is all for today. Thank you again for coming. Please be sure to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time.